this is the third video in this series and today's problem statement is write a sql code to get the total number of new customers who did a successful transaction in the month of june 2021 and these are the tables using which we have to write a sql code for the above problem statements so let's jump to a mysql workbench and create these input tables i will start by selecting a database where i want to store all these tables so let me execute this one now I want to drop all the tables if they are already existed in the selected database. So let me drop this. As you can see we don't have any tables with the same name in the selected database. Now I will create the tables one by one. Remember guys always first you have to create a table which does not contain any foreign keys. In our case customer table and merchants table does not contain any foreign keys. So I will create this table first okay so customer table next is merchants table then lastly i will create a transaction table because in this table we have a two foreign keys one is from customer table another one is from merchants table okay so let me execute this one now i will insert all the record in each table first of all i will insert the record in a customer table Next, I will insert the records in a merchants table and lastly, I will insert the records in a transactions table. Now, let's see whether all the records are inserted in the tables or not. So, let me execute this one. As you can see, we have inserted all the records in these tables. So, first one, we have a customer table which contain a three column customer ID, customer segment and customer city where customer ID is a uh, primary key in similar way we have a merchants table where uh, merchant id is a primary key and merchant name is the name of the merchants and last one is a transaction table which contain a transaction id order date customer id which is a foreign key from the customer table and merchant id is a foreign key from the merchants table then we have a transaction amount then lastly we have a transaction status column which contain the record as fail and success first of all we will list out all the column names from each table which will help us to write a solution for this above problem statement okay for that we need to read this problem statement multiple times okay so write a sql code to get the total number of new customers means there is a column in a customers table okay let's see um okay we have a customer id customer segment new okay yeah as you can see here in customer segment we have a record as a repeat and new okay and in problem statement they mentioned that new customer okay we need this column so i will copy this one and paste here okay then they said that who did a successful transaction means there is another column in a transaction table let's see which is that we have a transaction id order date customer id merchant id and transaction amount ah uh, yeah as you can see here in transaction status we have a record as a fail and success and they mentioned that a successful transaction means we need this column also okay so copy and paste here after that they mentioned that in the month of june 2021 and we can see here in transaction table we have a order date okay so we need this column also using which we can extract month and the year of the date okay so we need this data it means that we don't need a merchant's table in order to find the solution for this problem statement okay and now we have to check on which column both the tables are joined okay uh, we have a customer id here and in customer's table we have customer id here so i will take this column also and keep here okay and these are the columns using which we can write a solution for the above problem statement now let's solve the problem using these steps first of all we will join both the tables then we will filter the records after that we will count the total customers okay so let's follow the same steps here first of all i will use select star from i will use your transaction table okay so what i will do i will just copy this one copy and paste here and give alias as a t then i will use here left join because i want all the record from the transaction table and only the matching record from the customer table okay so customer 
and I will give alias as a C okay then I will use here using function this is a inbuilt function in MySQL workbench which is used as a join condition okay because we have a customer ID which is same in both the tables okay that's the reason I am using here using function so let me execute this one as you can see we are getting the result after joining both the tables okay now from this result I want the record where where uh, new customer okay so customer segment is new customer segment equal to new and and then I want who did a successful transaction means transaction status is success okay so let me paste here equal to success and in the month of so I will use here inbuilt function that is month so what it will do it will extract the month from the given date column order date and they said that in June month so June is sixth month then I will use and after that I want a year so I will use here inbuilt function that is year order date is equal to 2021 okay so let me execute this one okay let me see unknown column order date okay we have a spelling mistake here order order date so let me execute this one okay as you can see we are getting only two records after filtering out all these okay so uh, from this result set I want the count of the customer so what I will do is I will use here count function and I want only the distinct uh, count so I will use distinct here distinct customer ID as new customer okay so let me execute this query as you can see we are getting the total number of new customers who did a successful transaction in the month of June in 2021 okay this is how we can write a SQL code for the above problem statement okay now we will discuss the order of execution for the written SQL code when we execute this query that query will send to a database which we have selected and it will check whether the table mentioned in a from clause and a left join clause are present or not if they are present then it will keep them under the execution like this after that it will check the joining condition and based on that it will generate a result table like this okay this step is a first order of execution that is a from and left join now on this result table it will apply a filter conditions and generate a result table like this okay this is the second order of execution that is a where clause okay and lastly it will count the total number of customers like this and this is the third order of execution that is a select clause this is how this query will execute step by step if you have any doubt in this video you can ask it in a comment box or you can also message me in a linkedin if you want this notes including a ppt and sql code then you can join my telegram channel where i have shared all these notes thank you so much for watching this video